Hello everyone, here we are with Nicola Feldman. We are uh, here to find out a little bit more about what's happening in Geneva concerning the trees. Questioning, why are so many trees being cut and down? Today, everybody is talking about trees. We need to save the trees in our town and in our canton. We need to build more intelligently than Absolutely. we are building today. We need to save our trees that are over a hundred years old. But not only those old trees, the young ones too. We need to protect them. We need to. Well, we need to combine. We need to put the human back with nature. Absolutely. We can't fight nature. We're in a Copernican moment where before Copernicus, the world, the earth was the center of everything. Human was in God's image. We were the center. And then we suddenly realized, hang on a sec, no, we're actually not. We're actually part of the other planets and the whole system going around. And we're back to that moment now. It's not all about us humans as separate from nature. We are combined with, and decisions we make have got to take into consideration nature as well. We are part of it. True. Uh, the last, what, 50 or, or 100 years, um, we've put economy over uh, nature. And right now we have to counterbalance what we've done. We, we, we've, we're find, finding out we've made a lot of errors. We've destroyed nature, we've destroyed the, our forest, we've destroyed our trees. Now we've, we've got to put this nature back on top. And we have to uh, uh, develop in terms of in balance with uh, keeping the nature in, the, in our town, in our canton, so in this, our country. Exactly. So this is happening worldwide. Yes. I'm sure a lot of you internationals are finding this might be happening in your places back at home. It's happening here as well. So we can start to act globally and have effects even back in your hometown, effects everywhere. And that's why I think the reason why two and a half years ago you were probably battling there wasn't a critical mass of people that had become conscious exactly. of what's going on. Right. And since two years and a half, and the, recently, the last few months, uh, there are many, many changes. The uh, elected people in the canton and in the town of Geneva have started talking about more protecting, uh, protecting more the trees. And uh, the laws are going to be changed more little by little, but we're getting there. Uh, uh, we're getting there because we, like you said, we have a more critical mass of people who are uh, totally uh, conscious of what's going on. Um, it took every every change is taking a long time, unfortunately. So, uh, Sofiel Genève is organizing a huge march for saving the trees on November 9th, 1:30, meeting at Il Rousseau. And let's talk about Nicolas' concept of. Tree naming. I love that. Oh. We love it. <laughs> and why did it, how did it come about? How did it come about? Listen, I also only recently became more conscious of what is actually at stake here. And when I did, I decided, okay, how can I put a step towards walking my talk? And I decided, all right, let's go the trees. Let's go the way of the trees because deal with the tree, dealing with a lot of things. You can deal with biodiversity, you can deal with the climate change, you can deal with a lot of things via trees. Didn't know what to do, so I just decided, okay, let me just stand up, right on my pancart, my sign. Around the corner from me is a beautiful air piece of land that 80 trees, actually 86 now, are going to be cut down. And I just stood there. La Chevillard. La right? Chevillard. And I just stood there with my sign and it was the most incredible experience. People stopped, asked me, discussed with me. We had this human interaction, this relationship. It was just, it was an incredible experience. And little bit by little bit, I went on internet, I found places, I found you, Sof Gal Genève, and I started to connect with the people that were doing things in it. Then one day, um, I heard one of the politicians in a statement saying that uh, trees aren't living things. It's been corrected since then. 
but the problem is he went on to say other things like oh it would be ridiculous to give a tree a name no primitive culture has ever done that to trees and i thought hang on a sec that is scientifically incorrect culturally incorrect historically blah 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 incorrect by everything that's what i'm going to do name the trees to build up the relationship for everybody with the tree and so out i went on my own took all my recycled cardboard and i started naming trees and people stopped right. i said what's happening and i said this tree is in danger it's going to be cut down i didn't know that that's awful so we establish relationship with the tree but we establish relationship with everybody in the community who i really notice are very concerned very concerned very, concerned, very sure. open and it was the most it was a really an enriching warming experience for that community that connection and so it happened grass totally grassroots Right. But I think it, it, it responded to a need that people had. Absolutely. Actually, we all have a connection with nature, but it's been lost with the years. And, uh, and those are... Jean, yeah. it's been lost with the environment. It's right. all very well coming to the park on a Sunday and connecting with the trees. But if a child is waking up in the morning, going downstairs, walking out of his apartment block, and there's no, no nature, no trees, and I'm not talking about the little pot of the bonsai tree, in solitary confinement, no, nature. Their pré or d'école, the, the school playgrounds, they are everybody, ghettos. Everybody needs trees everybody in every yeah. neighborhood. All the schools need trees, more trees. Uh, and, and all the ecosystem that a tree brings. A tree will bring a squirrel, will bring a bee, right. will bring... Trees are part of our life and uh, we, need, we need to bring them back. And your idea, great idea of naming, naming the trees is giving a more human value to those uh, beautiful trees Absolutely. that we need to keep, protect more, and plant more. We need, uh, Geneva is missing about 20% trees, officially by some studies of last year.